Hey everyone, here's a question from Power Play of a class A. This is based on your syllabus and this is second figure it out and the first question of it. The question is find out the units digit in the value of 2 raised to the power 224 divided by 4 raised to the power 32 and we have also given a hint. So here they have given hint but most of the time they will not give you a hint. You have to figure it out by yourself. So how to do it? Now to do this, we have to make sure that first the bases are same and here they have given hint that is 4 is equal to 2 square. So if you have not given hint, then you have to make sure how to make the bases same. So try to express the other number base in terms of the other one. So here we have to find the value of 220. First we'll divide these two numbers and divide it by 4 to the power 32. So this is equals to 2 to the power 224. We can write 4 as 2 square. So this is 4 and then to that we have a power 30. Now we have a power and again power. There are two powers right. So when we have a power on power then we have to multiply the powers. So 2 to the power 224 and here we get 2 times 32 is 64. So 2 to the power 64. Now here the bases are same, powers are different and we are doing division here. So when bases are same and when we are dividing it, then we have to subtract the powers. Base will remain same. So we get 2 to the power 224 minus 64. Let's subtract these two numbers, 224 minus 64. 4 minus 4 is 0. Then we have 2 or you can just take 22. So when you take 22, what you will get? 16. 22 minus 6 is 16. So we get 160. So this is equals to 2 to the power 160. So this part was easy. Now let's read the question again. They said that find out the units digit. This means when we solve this, what will be the number in its units place? Now to find that, we have to understand the power of 2 pattern. So if you look here, if you observe, 2 to the power 1 will be 2. 2 square is, that is 2 times 2, it is 4. Then 2 cube, just multiply 4 and 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Then 2 to the power 4. We know up to 2 cube, right? So 2 to the power 4 means you have to just multiply 8 by 2, which is 16. 2 to the power 5 is 16 times 2 is 32. Now 2 to the power 6 is 32 times 2 is 64. Right? We can stop here. Now let's understand the pattern. What we have here, we have 2, 4, 8, 6. Again we have a 2, 4. So let's find the 2 to the power 7. 2 to the power 7 means 64 times 2 which is 128. And last we'll find 2 to the power 8 which means we have to multiply 128 by 2. We get here 6 and then 5 256. So this is 2 to the power 8. Now look at the pattern. We have 4, 8 and 6. These are the digits in the units place. What we have 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6. So 2, 4, 8, 6. So this is a pattern. In the pattern we can say cycle and this is repeating. And in this cycle we have a 4 numbers, right? So what we will do? To understand what number we will get in the unit place, we will divide the power of 2 by 4. Now to understand this, let's start with 4. Now if you are dividing a power, let us me write P here, P means power. If you are dividing a power by 4 and if you get remainder 0, let us take 4 here, like okay? 4. 4 divided by 4. What is the remainder? 0. So 
0 right so when you're dividing a 4 or any number you take whether remainder is 0 because 4 is divisible by 4 I'm taking this example to explain 4 is divisible by 4 there is no remainder so for those example what is the unit digit 6 so here the unit digit is 6 similarly if you divide power by 4 and you get a remainder 1 so which number will give you remainder 1 you are dividing it by 4 5 when you divide 5 by 4 you get 1 as a remainder yes and what is the unit digit here it is 2 so in the units place we have a digit 2 so the number will end with 2 similarly if the power is divisible by 4 and we get a remainder 2 so which will give you remainder 2 6 will give us 6 divide by 4 we get a remainder 2 and what is the digit in the units place it is 4 so in the units place the digit will be 4 next we have 3 so if you're dividing a power by that is a, the exponent by 4 and if the remainder is 3 for example 7 7 divide by 4 you will get 3 as a remainder and for that what is the number in the units place it is 8 so in the units place we get 8 now we will not go with 4 here because after that the remainder will be 0 right because next number if we have 8 8 is divisible by 4 right there is no remainder in that case we can see we have a 6 so when the remainder is 6 the number will end by 6 now here we have 160 so if you look at 160 it is divisible by 4 4 4 is a 16 4 zero are 0 there is no remainder remainder is 0 so if remainder is 0 the number will end by 6 so in the units place the digit will be 6 therefore answer is 6 so this is very important question this type of question you can expect for your exam I hope this question is clear if you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching